Hello everybody, welcome back to Bellatro's Road to 100%. The temperature in England has dropped from like 19C to 12C overnight, so I'm wearing my Bellatro hoodie that I got as free swag for being a uh, moderator over on the Discord, and it's incredibly comfortable, and I recommend you all run out and find one. But for right now, we need to find Blackboard, Marble Joker, and Paradolia. And that's it. Those are the only ones we need. So I think it's just going to be a case of largely fund as much economy as we can and then re-roll late game for stuff if we don't find anything sooner. I should have done aces full of sevens. It's too late now. But yeah, I can't believe there's only three gold stickers left if my chart is correct. Now, we still need blackboard, so I'm still inclined to err towards making decks black in general. Let's go for that, and then there's a walkie-talkie in the shop. So we could do this. But we did a run recently with Walkie Talkie and it didn't overwhelm me. So we'll just do this. We can then let the egg just kind of slowly grow in size over a few rounds. Then it'll be ready for harvesting. Hopefully that should provide us with enough stuff. That is... A black card, effectively. Wish I'd done this first. Still, I'll take $8 and a fortune teller pip. All clubs are debuffed. That's fine. Show me a diamond. There's every club in the history of the world. Is plus three enough? It's not, but we have a straight, so that'll be fine. More egg value. Where's Vagabond? We could do some Vagabonding. Two double tags. I'm going to pass on that, I think. All right, this nine can come that we'll look for other clubs we get one two of spades can become a gold card so that we get the extra value into the fortune teller and then we need a little more than that hopefully that's enough good nine points to spare three dollars from the uh, gold card. Excuse me. Uh, do we want half joker just to find things easy for a few moments? I'm totally okay with that. Uh, back to rank. Show me any face cards at all. Beautiful. This egg currently worth $14. Obviously, temperance would be fantastic. No temperance, but we can make more black cards. Crack a buffoon. That pays for itself, and we can just get rid of more red cards. Uh, do I want to play a flush or do I want to play a three card something? Well, we've got no pairs, so we'll do this for now. Pair on its own, 840. There should be another 840. 
Good. Oh my goodness. <laughs> All right, I'm in. Show me more black cards. Or, you know what? Loads more money. Right, we can go even more money. Wild card. That's up to plus nine. We will overstock the shop. Ooh. Swashbuckler egg in these trying times. It's two jokers, but this is worth more than that and that combined, basically. Any minute now. Seven hearts, 12 diamonds. We can get rid of more of those reasonably quickly. It's just going to be about converting all of this into a win, basically. This can trade out at our convenience. I think Fortune Teller... Fortune Teller will scale, this won't. This is 26, this is 20, so... We'll do this with the egg. See how we go. Small red card. Gone. I wanted to look for clubs, uh, for spades. Uh, I wanted to look for clubs, but I started fishing spades. Um, but we'll do a pair of red sevens holding all black cards. It's two and a half thousand points. Okay. Don't think we do that. We definitely do these. Uh, between make a red card with lovers or ditch two with hanged man. I know which side of that I'm on. And then here, a red card becomes a useful black card, I guess. Don't want to spend too much money. Small red card is gone. Two pair sixes and fours, all red cards behind. All black cards behind, rather. Exactly 4,800 points. $12. More Arcana. Small red card becomes useful black card again. Five hearts, eight diamonds. Lovers. Supernova. Doesn't really work out right now. Decrease the level of the played poker hand. We have leveled up no hands, so it's a complete null event. That one can become wild so that we can play this flush while holding only black cards. Uh, I will see what's in here. Nothing that I love. That's black cards. Cards played previously, this anti are debuffed. I don't love that for needing to play or needing to hold black cards. I think if we can exclusively play red cards, then maybe that can work out okay. But I have no idea what high card is achieving right now. Not much for chips. So we'll do a pair and see how that goes. 4,000 points. Two pair. 
7,000 points. Temperance is $38. It'll be 50 in a minute. This Joker stencil. We could drop Fortune Teller and Trading Card. This would go to 2x plus 10. 2x on 3x. But I don't love it being limited to just four cards or four jokers. Also, there's still a handful of red cards I'd like to get rid of. And trading card is a great way to do that. Are we going to skip? Oh, I think we'll be okay. No red cards here at all. Two pair. Halfway there. Get rid of this four. Nine, ten, jack, queen. Pair of nines. Flush. Flush, but we have red cards left. Trip nines. Do it that way. Cool. Uh, cannot madness. I will level up full house some more. Check in here again. Cryptid. Maybe king of clubs. I could make more of these deuce of spades. We don't have five of anything, so that doesn't really matter. This is obviously the chance at more money. Um... Kings are obviously worth five times as many chips as this, though. And chips are where we are hurting right now. Full house is okay for it. Come on, then, pillar. You and me. of nines 1600 points is not strong better This flush will still get blackboarded. I would like some more X Malt or something. It just doesn't feel great right now. Uh, Uranus in here. I think I'm going to go Temperance. Another Temperance. That gives us a lot of flexibility. Right, this is plus 16. This is plus 42. We have nine red cards left. Three of them are wild. So really, it's six red cards left. This will make three of them black. We have a drop fortune teller for banana to hope to get Cavendish later. Yeah. We're gonna do that unless we find something else better in the interim. This is plus 28. 
but it's also eternal. We have culled out a fair few cards, but I think we've added a few back or something. We could drop trading card for erosion at this stage. Hmm. I'm not sure I love it. If it wasn't eternal, I might grab it. This is plus 15. This is plus 41. This is going to keep getting bigger. I don't love it. That I love. Those two as temps I don't love. That is one fewer red card. That's loads more money. Strength we don't need. Go onto the small blind here. It's only 25,000 points. It's not that many points. Just cannot find red cards for the life of us. I mean, we don't need to worry about this being a rental. We simply don't. How does high card score? We want to just turn over cards. 2,000 points. That's a flush. I mean, do I need to get rid of anything? Or should I just get rid of something I don't have much of? Three, five, six, seven, eight. The wild cards would be really good if we come across ancient or something in a minute, you know? So I guess we're just not going to get rid of a card this round. Banana is safe. I will crack packs. Because we are rich AF at the moment. We just need a little... A little more sauce. To get us over... The hump. Alright, we'll stop there at 50. 37,000. Feels like so much more already. Um, one, two, three, four, five. I will do this without the triple. Actually, no, I won't. I will do. We have. 18 clubs and 18 spades, so I guess we're not too precious about which way we do this. I'd like to turn at least two red cards black with this guy. One, two, three, yes. That's still a flush, though. Come on, banana. Die. No, you're still safe. This guy is now plus 47 malt. More flushes. If we got a negative smeared joker right now, it would be everything you could ever need. Uh, we have... No, we don't have. I just used it. <laughs> that blue seal, not going to be useful for a minute. All face cards are drawn face down. Fine. That's... 
that's red. We have two red cards that are not wild left. That's a club. I'm just going to go there so I can jump straight to this. Um, you know what? I'll do that. And then this. Not a great time. Okay. Scores all right. It's not great. I want this. I guess... Well, we're not going to get more interest than $25, so we'll take it. Playing a flush sets money to zero. Unpleasant, but not unfair. Just an ace of diamonds hiding and waiting. Like we could keep cutting cards. But at some point, it's just a, a detrimental effect, isn't it? I'm like, do I get rid of trading card for Hiker for a minute? Because we can discard this ace if we find it. That's not hard. You know? So we can just get some more chips on some stuff. But it doesn't seem great. Thirty-eight thousand. Janky looking flush. Oh, banana went extinct, but I don't know if it went extinct before or after it debuffed and whether Cavendish will now be in the pool or not. Interesting development, for sure. That's not a bad thing to have on flushes. We'll hold that for a hot minute. Playing a flush sets money to zero. Should have remembered that earlier. So the flush is worth considerably more than the straight. Straight flush would be nice. How many ace of clubs do we have? Nine of clubs. One of each. Or we could try for flush house. But that seems like a gamble too. Probably keep the twos and look for spades if I was going to do that. So you know what? We'll play this. See if we can then get a flush house thereafter. Close. We have two other kings of spades in the deck. There's the last ace. All right, there's a flush house. Nowhere near enough. We're going to have to play a flush. There's the last red card we concern ourselves with. Goodbye, money. Wish I'd have spent it sooner, but here we are. Do we start burning cards just to try and get some money back? F 
40,000 points for a flush. Three of those would be okay. I can hold the gold cards. I absolutely will. One spade. Just enough points. <laughs> Show me temperance. No temperance. Next one, 165,000 is a lot scarier. Get rid of that. We can probably sell this now. Just this guy that we want to keep, but we want to change the color on at some point. Preferably. Forty-three thousand points. We would need four solid flushes for that. That's one ten times fourteen. That's one hundred times eight. All right, I know where the bigger numbers are. Do we have anything interesting left in the deck? There's two lucky jack of clubs. We don't find them. Seven is bigger than five for chips. We get through that round, but the next round feels Far less probable. Where do we spend money? Well, trading cards spent. We could take Banner. That's 60 more chips. That's a decent chunk of scoring, I think. Base chips and what I have. We need it more than ever. Put the malts behind the face card. Fifty thousand. Trying not to use my discards because that's where a lot of my chip value is. It's not looking great though. Didn't get a lucky proc. No. No luck today. We tried. We really did. But now, thank you ever so much for watching. If you enjoyed the series, please do consider subscribing and hit that like button. If you have any questions, comments, recommendations, put them down below. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.